Hi there. Welcome to this in-depth video on Tramadol. In this video will learn you everything you need to know, but I also made a shorter, more to-the-point video. If this might be suitable for you, you can find the link in the description, and it's just the basics. So first of all, a little disclaimer. This video is meant purely informational, so this is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, please contact your own physician. Then, the generic name of Tramadol is Tramadol, but it's also known under the brand names Ultram, uh, Tramagesic and Tramol. It's available in capsules, tablets and injections. And tramadol is an opioid and it's an agonist for the mu, kappa and delta receptors. And it inhibits reuptake of noradrenaline and enhances serotonin release. And that is why it has an analgesic, anxiolytic and sedative effect and it works much like morphine. You can use it to treat acute or chronic pain of moderate to severe uh, levels. If you use it as a painkiller, please use a step-by-step -step pain approach. Go to the next step when there is insufficient pain relief, when there are contraindications for one of the steps or when there are specific indications like uh, oncological pain where you usually stop, start at step 4 or 5 because of the severe pain. So the first step would always be paracetamol. It's the cheapest, it's very effective, little side effects, and it's very well known. Then if this is insufficient, go to NSAIDs like naproxen or ibuprofen. You always can combine those with paracetamol as well. Then your next step would be tramadol or oxycodone, which are low opioids. The next step is oral or transdermal strong opioids like fentanyl or morphine, and then your last step is subcutaneous or intravenous strong opioids. There's mostly morphine, and it's always done in a hospital setting. Regarding your use, uh, when can you use it? Uh, take it with water before or after dinner at fixed times. This way, you keep the correct level of medication and you never experience pain peaks. Wait between four to six hours between doses, and for children, at least six hours. How long can you take tramadol? Mostly till your complaints are over and then you gradually reduce the dosage on the supervision of your doctor. But if you need more than 10 days, make sure to um, do so in correspondence with your doctor. Regarding safety, um, wait two weeks before driving to see what side effects you're experiencing from tramadol because it may lead to drowsiness, confusion and dizziness. And while experiencing those, it's not safe to drive. For alcohol, alcohol may increase the side effects you're experiencing, so be very hesitant with drinking alcohol. We don't recommend it, but if you really want to do so, only take one glass and see what effect it has. For food, there are no restrictions and you can eat anything in combination with tramadol. If you take tramadol for your pain and you're an adult of a child or older than 12 years, the correct dose would be 50 to 100 milligrams every four to six hours, up to a maximum of 400 milligrams a day. If you take it rectally, you take 100 milligrams every six to eight hours, up to a maximum of 400 milligrams a day. For elderly, which are 65 plus, uh, start with a lower dose, so 10 to 25 milligrams every six to 24 hours, so four times a day maximum, upwards to 100 milligrams a day maximum. For children from 1 to 12 years, the oral dose would be 1 to 2 milligrams per kilogram every 6 hours or once a day. So between 1 and 4 doses a day. And the maximum you can give a child is 8 milligrams per kilogram or 100 milligrams maximum per time upwards to 400 milligrams a day. And of course, tramadol has a lot of side effects, and here I will put the most common ones. So, very common, more than 10% of all cases, you see nausea, dizziness, or asthenia. Commonly, 1-10% to of all people will have constipation, vomiting, a dry mound, confusion, headaches, drowsiness, vasodilatation. And uncommonly, we see vomiting, diarrhea, uh, hypertension, cardiovascular collapse, uh, urticaria, erythema, and there are some more. I didn't name all of them. More rare are any of these. So in an attempt, uh, rarely we see dyspnea, aller allergic reactions, anxiety, nightmares, poor appetite, mental disorders, syncope, and very rarely we see any of these. 
I won't name them all. Feel free to pause the video to check uh, all of them out. If you think you may be experiencing one of these or any other side effect, always check your prescription and contact your doctor because maybe the dose needs to be adapted or another medication would be better for your needs. Then, Tramadol has a lot of interactions and here I will state the most important ones. So when combined with central depressants like alcohol, opioids or some others, this may lead to increased depressive effect on your central nerve system. This will lead to respiratory depression and enhanced sedation and therefore always use the lowest possible effective dose for the shortest amount, uh, shortest duration and follow your ca uh, patients carefully to see what is happening. When you combine tramadol with a vitamin K antagonist, this may increase your INR and the risk of bleeding. So take that into consideration. Then, when morphine-like medications, like tramadol, are combined with a Mayo inhibitor, this may lead to a serotonergic syn uh, syndrome. The patient may experience clonus, tremors, hyperreflexia, hypotonia, or even fevers. And therefore, you have to wait two weeks after stopping a Mayo inhibitor before you can give a morphine-like medicine, like tramadol. If you combine tramadol with benzodiazepines, this may increase the sedation, may lead to respiratory depressions, comas, and even to death in the worst cases. And therefore use the lowest dose for the shortest duration and follow your patients very strictly. And lastly, when you combine tramadol with SSRIs, and SSRIs, tricyclic antidepressants, antipsychotics, mirtazapine, or any of the others, this may lead to an increased risk of convulsions. And therefore always be careful when prescribing both as co medication in pregnancy, tramadol passes to placenta and may lead to respiratory depressions in the, in the baby or the fetus. And this may even lead to neonatal opioid absence syndrome if you use enough of tramadol. Therefore, always be very hesitant. Maximally use one dose on strict education, but it's best to avoid tramadol when pregnant. For lactation, tramadol passes through in the breast milk as well. Therefore, it's not advised to use tramadol when breastfeeding. There are also some contraindications for using tramadol. One of them is an uncontrolled epilepsy, acute respiratory depressions, acute intoxication with alcohol, hypnotics, analgesic, other opioids, or even drugs. Always take, uh, be very hesitant in these situations. And when there are withdrawal symptoms and addiction, it's also a good, very good time to stop giving opioids to this patient. Then some warnings. If a patient has a brain trauma, increased intracranial pressure, a shock, convulsions disease, asthma, COPD, severe respiratory insufficiencies, those are all signs to be very careful with the dose that you gave. Give the uh, lowest possible dose for a short amount of time and look what the effect is on the individual patient. Then when the HPA cortex or axis and the HPG axis uh, they can be affected by the use of tramadol, and this may lead to an increased prolactin, or a decrease in cortisol and testosterone. If this is happening, uh, you should maybe lower the dose of tramadol to uh, improve the symptoms the patient is having. And then lastly, the safety of tramadol in children younger than one year has not been established, so this is a contraindication for use and can be harmful for the child. Please don't do so. And one of my last slides, kinetic data. Um, tramadol has a resorption of 90%, the T max is 70%. Um, it passes blood brain barrier, that's why you have the additional sedation when using tramadol. Protein binding is almost 100%, it's metabolized by the liver, eliminated by urine, and the half of the values in the blood are eliminated in six hours. So, this was my in depth video on tramadol. I hope you learned something. I also made videos on all the other painkillers. You can check some of them in the description, but you can find them also at my channel. Subscribe for more upcoming videos and thank you for watching.